Hey everyone, I'm Helen. Welcome to today's class. This is a quick mobility class working on the hips, a bit of balance and a bit of core. So important for all of those things to keep us moving for decades and decades to come. The format will be 11 exercises, one minute each with a 15 second break in between where I'll demonstrate the next move. I'm working out in bare feet because I always do. Get a nice flat, stable surface and some space to move around in. And without further ado, we will begin. The first exercise, standing with the feet around hip distance apart. Hands come up to the ears, grounding down into one leg, crossing over, knee to elbow, back up then to the other side. Okay, have you got it? We will begin. 10 second countdown. Get ready. And we'll start. So when you lower the leg, try to do it with muscle engagement rather than gravity. Crossing from the ribs, so imagine you're like curling in on yourself, working on those obliques, core strength, working on our balance. When we do these moves, they work on all the little stabilizing muscles that keep us upright. Helps to look at one thing that isn't moving, up ahead. If you can't get the elbow to the knee, not a problem. Just do what you can do. A few more seconds. Excellent, this one, ground down into the right foot. The left knee will come up, out to the side, back to the middle, this leg comes down, and then do a hamstring curl with this other one. So open to the side, foot comes down, other one comes up behind and maybe you touch the foot. This is a little bit more challenging for the balance and for the brain where we're switching legs. Engage through the midline, helps. Fixed gazing point. is opening the hip to the side, getting that movement that we don't often get when we sit in a chair a lot, driving. So good to do these movements to keep a good range of motion in the joints. When we've got a good range of motion, it makes our movement so much more efficient. Uh, relax, well done. We'll do the other side. Second side, often a different story. Grounding down into the left foot, zipping up. Knee comes up, out, and to the back. I'm feeling it today because I did a big leg workout yesterday with heavy weights and I definitely can feel it. Every day is different in our bodies, isn't it? Sometimes you feel really light and agile, and other days really heavy and stiff. But that's okay, that's life. This is working a little bit on the hamstring, which is key for knee health. Focusing on those muscles that support the knee rather than just the knee itself will help improve any joint pain that you have there. Excellent, this one, grounding into the right foot, left knee to left elbow, and then to the inner ankle. So alternating all on this side, this right leg doesn't move. And if touching the ankle isn't available, you can just touch the knee and work up to it. It's almost like you're doing a little, 
you're doing a side crunch and then a front crunch. And if you haven't already, don't forget to download my secret podcast, Free to Move, Free to Live. Everything joint health, mobility, motivation, mindset for women over 50. There's a lot of great information in there about how you can improve your joint health and mobility and develop healthy habits, which is key to us feeling good in our bodies for decades and decades to come. Uh, release. I'm already sweating. <laughs> it's a bit overcast today. It was brilliant sunshine earlier and now the clouds have rolled in so it's probably going to rain. That's the rainy season. And again with this one, when you lower the leg, consciously use your muscles and just don't allow it to flop to the floor with gravity. Standing tall, rooting down to rise. <clears throat> Ten more seconds. Excellent, this one, we stand with the feet wider than hip distance, the toes tracking outwards, sweeping around with the ribs, come back, squat, all on the same side. Sweeping around, using the core, and then sitting into a squat. Of course, how deep you go depends on your hip, mobility and your leg strength and your knees so do what is good for your body sometimes I like to lift my toes up when I do the squat so it brings a different dimension to it so using the core rather than just sweeping around with the arm And release, shake it out. I'm getting ready for the other side. Get in the foot position, arms to the T, sweeping round. And then sitting down. Be mindful of your knees, how it feels. Excellent, I'll turn to the side. This is a lunge. Stepping back with the right foot. Coming up onto the left foot. Then a leg lift, back, and then step in, all on the same side. So imagine when you lift the leg from behind, you're lifting from the inner thigh and from the glute. 
not worrying about how high up the leg comes. <laughs> Lose my concentration. Hugging into the midline. So again, this is great for the knee as you're working on the back of the leg and the glute, which also is excellent for knee health. And release, we'll do the other side. Maybe sway a bit. Getting ready. So you can keep the hands in front of you or at the hips. Or if you want to go for it, lift them up. The moment those arms come overhead, the heart rate goes up. So maybe that's something that you build up to. This is working on hip extension. And also core and our balance. Excellent. Grounding down into the right foot, externally rotate this left leg, draw the toe up, the inside leg, down, and then one front lift, all on this side. So this leg doesn't move. Toe up, toe down, and then lift and lower. And again, when you're lowering the leg, use the muscle, not gravity. This is external rotation of the hip and flexion. Looking at something that's not moving. Really get the burn in this leg. <laughs> and release, shake it out. Grounding down into the left leg, externally rotate this right one, and then this side. Don't worry about how far up this leg comes at the front. If that's your lift, that's fine. This is the last exercise. You'll be pleased to know. And well done. That was a short and sweet one, but I am dripping in sweat. When we use these big muscles, it makes the workout so much more efficient, getting our heart rate up, getting that blood pumping, and making us feel alive. 
I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, give me a thumbs up, maybe a comment, maybe a subscribe. Any kind of engagement like that with my channel really helps boost it on the algorithm. I've got a ton of these mobility videos on this channel. And if you need a good stretch out for your hips and your legs after that, I will link a video that you'll be able to do. Thank you for practicing with me and I'll see you again soon.